Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here, Fancy Anomaly. And today we're gonna look at three ways to land body shots, whether it's boxing, Muay Thai, or MMA. It's gonna be safe and effective so that you don't get hit on the way in. Let's take a look. All right guys, so the body shots, some people tend to have trouble with them because either they get hit in the face when they lower the level to throw that shot and they get caught, and then they don't wanna throw it anymore, or they feel like they have to get in close and they have trouble getting in and they're getting caught on the way in. So let's talk about some safe and effective ways to, to land these shots, do some damage without getting hit. So the first one at range is we're gonna use our, our distance, our length, by throwing a jab to the body. Now I can use it by setting it up with a feint first, and the easiest way is just fake a jab to the head. So I fake a jab to the head, I get him to lift his elbows a little bit, and I don't retract and pull it all the way back, I just shoot it from here. Now I lower my level and I punch straight. All right, I think the number one problem is people punch down, and when they do, the, the counter is available right there. Whereas if I just lower my level, now I'm protecting my chin, the, the punch is straight, and then I can bring it back from here. All right, so I can feint and throw it like this. It's a very common one that we see in boxing. Floyd uses that a lot where he just he goes like this. You don't know if it's gonna go to the head, you don't know if it's gonna go to the body. He fakes and then comes low, or he'll go low and then come up high. I can also do that with the right hand. One of my favorite ones to do, I'll just raise my hand like I'm gonna ask a question in school, and then drop down, take my head off the center line, punch straight, lower my level like I'm doing a lunge, okay? So again, fake and come here. Now I can also use it as a counter. If Vince is throwing a jab, then I can just slip my head off to the side and simultaneously throw the jab. He throws the punch to aim at the head, and I just take my head off the center line, go out to the side, his body's exposed, and I take advantage. Or if he throws the right hand, I can use my right straight. I take my head off the center line, and I pump my cross as he throws his, okay? So there are your first two, using your straight punches, using your length, either Faint first, then throw, or if they're throwing the punch, just counter. So the most common body shot that people think of is the liver shot. Liver's located on the right side of the human body. Easiest way for me to hit it. Orthodox against orthodox is with my left hook. So it's kind of challenging, right? Because this is a short punch, and a lot of people tend to lean or reach for it, and they go here. You get no power on it, and I'm completely exposed for the counter shot right here. All right, so don't ever reach for the left hook to the body. You shouldn't be reaching for any punches. Usually means you need to get your feet closer, okay? So if we just work backwards, we reverse engineer it, and I start here, how can I get to this position safely and effectively? What I'm gonna do is throw a fake right hand. And first I wanna get him to respect it, so I'm actually gonna throw a right hand, all right? He's blocking it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fake that right hand, and I'm gonna step and cover the distance. So I step, fake the right hand, and I get in close. Now I'm close enough to land that body shot. So in real speed, it looks like this. I'm here, I'm close enough, I'm loaded up, and I'm gonna rip this left hook to the body. Here's the other thing here, guys, is what's the trajectory of this punch? Some people like to really reach around and go this way in a really hooking motion. I personally like to throw it more like an uppercut and come more direct with it here. Really depends on where my opponent's elbow is, right? If Vince is protecting right down the center, then maybe I don't wanna go right here. Maybe I have to reach around it a little bit more. If he's got it back a little bit further, then I'm not gonna punch him in the elbow, I'm gonna come more direct right up the center, okay? So a jab cross is a good setup. I go jab cross, boom, I go jab, I fake the cross, now I'm in close enough for this left hook to the body, and then I can follow up with the hook to the head, I can angle off, what have you from there. But again, jab, fake the cross, use that fake cross to step in, close off the distance, and land that hook to the body. Last technique for setting up that body shot, we're gonna use what some people refer to as the bump or the shift. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop off and create a nice angle so I can set up another hook to the body. And what it looks like if I do it on its own is this. Boom, here, or to the opposite side is here. Okay, you can see I'm getting off that center line, I'm creating an angle, and I can come right between Vince's guard and land my hook. A good setup is just a one-two-one or a one-two. One-two-one is one of my favorite combos. And you're just gonna kinda of pity pat. You don't have to put a ton of power on it. What I'm trying to do is get Vince to just shell up a little bit. This works in the center of the ring, but it works even better when his back's up against the ropes or against the cage. So I'm just gonna go one-two-one, and the same motion as if I were to throw another right hand, finish with a two, I'm gonna use that to carry me and step over. So I'm gonna use my shoulder to bump, and I'm gonna get this angle here. Bang, okay? If I were to go to the other side, then I'm just gonna do a one, two, and I'm gonna use the cross motion, or the jab motion to get out to the left side. So it's one, two, as if I were to throw another jab, I'm gonna instead create this angle out to the side. Now I got the right hook to the body, okay? So again, the first one is one, two, one. As if I'm throwing this right hand, I'm gonna twist my hips, turn my shoulder over a little bit, but I'm stepping out, okay? So you see I step with my lead foot first, in front of his foot, and then I bring that rear foot out to the side, and I got the left hook. And the other one is the one, two, 
step out, hop out, create that angle, and we got the right hook right down the center. All right, guys, so like I said, a lot of people have trouble landing body shots because maybe they get hit in the face when they lower their arms or just covering the distance is challenging. So here are a couple ways of safely and effectively getting on the inside so they can land those shots, do some damage. Don't forget how effective body shots can be. You can drain their gas tank. You can finish them with shots. So implement them into your game. If you've been having some trouble, now you know how to do it correctly. So master it in your training, in your sparring, and then use it in competition. Until next time, I'm Shane. Fancy Anomaly. Fight tips for the underdogs.